Hey, my name's Kelly Clark. I've been snowboarding for 23 years. I have been snowboarding since I was nine years old, so 17 years, I guess. I'm Kimmy Fasani. I started snowboarding when I was nine years old. It just looked fun and different, and I started snowboarding in uh, 1990, the first year I was even allowed at my mountain. I started snowboarding because a bunch of my guy friends got into it after ski racing, and I just decided that it was something, a cool hobby to get into, and I wanted to kind of be like those guys. I think snowboarding looked way much cooler than skiing, so I wanted to try it. I wanted to start snowboarding because I have four older brothers and I always was just like tagging along and they'd like play soccer or basketball and we started skateboarding and they'd like ditch me at the skate park and then we started snowboarding and uh, I'd always go to their contest and be the little tyke at the bottom like go brothers! So snowboarding was just second nature because I grew up watching them just rip it. I just went up on the hill and I was riding and if I saw somebody with good style or somebody that was better than me, I just looked up to them and tried to ride with them and tried to ride as good as them. You know, snowboarding was so new, it was so different. I just fell in love with it. I think there was room for creative expression. You know, if I, if I do a trick and my buddy does a trick, it looks completely different. I love that there's that, that room for individuality. I think that's something that drew it to me in the first place. Make a move! And that's why I still love it today. I think my favorite thing about snowboarding was just how easy it came to me when I first started. I just, a lot of sports have been really challenging for me and I've been trying to learn them, so it was awesome just having a sport that I could get right into and start enjoying it. My motivation to snowboard is that it's just so much fun. Everyone's having a good time and you know it's a pretty low stress atmosphere most of the time so that's kept me just in the scene because it's such a blast. The feeling that I get when I'm snowboarding makes me keep on a ride. If something makes you happy in life you like to keep doing it. We've got people like Kimmy Fasani going out and, and hanging with the dudes' crews, you know, in the backcountry. And I think it's, it's cool to see to break down some of those uh, stereotypes that women can't hang with the guys, that women are on a different page. I think given the opportunity, um, we could impress and kind of surprise people for uh, backcountry pipe riding that we, we can hang. Becoming professional wasn't really something I set out to do. It was just something that snowboarding just started lending itself really well to me. I was able to progress and these guys taught me how to do a backflip and from there I did USASA nationals and contests. I just want to learn how to really ride mountains and incorporate everything I've learned in the park to do that. Filming in the backcountry is such a spontaneous, beautiful thing, but really challenging. And there's so much going on in order to get out and strap in on your snowboard in the backcountry. Be out there with all those guys and having them show you how to do it makes it really great.
shooting with the guys in Squa was so much fun because I like to ride with the guys and I get more inspiration from them. But it's also a little bit challenging because they're so good. Jump there was maybe one of the biggest one I have ever hit. I think style is really important in snowboarding. I always think contests are cool because people go out and, and they kind of raise their own standard. I first started competing when I was 11. Most of the time I'd be the only one in my age group when I first started, so I'd just be so pumped and win that little bag full of like t-shirts and candy bars. And I was just like, this is the greatest thing in the world. My first gold medal at USASA Nationals is what got me sponsored by Burton. I think this year will be my 15th X Games, and I'm shooting to make my fourth Olympic team right now, so I've been competing professionally for about the last 16 years. No one from the States has made uh, three half-pipe teams apart from myself. And uh, I kind of thought that was impossible. And uh, I'm shooting for my fourth right now, so we'll see what happens. One of my, one of my favorite moments was, was being the first woman to land a 1080 in competition in the X Games in uh, 2011. You know, I already had the contest won, and I, I really got to do it because I wanted to, not because I had to. I would say my most memorable moment would be at my first Olympics. I showed up injured, so I didn't know what to expect, and then ended up going out and winning. Now I'm getting ready for Russia. The feeling of winning the European Open was really awesome. It was the first place I've gotten on such a high level contest, so I was really excited. I love that competitive environment where people get to see um, if they have what it takes and they get to bring their A game. I think, you know, Gretchen and Tora and myself have put on some of the best shows at Winter X that we've seen. And um, even Elena, you know, being the first woman to land a double cork this year, that was inspirational. You know, I think the pipes these days, they cater to progression. Uh, we have bigger transitions than we ever have had in the past. You know, people wonder if the pipes are getting bigger and more dangerous, but they're actually getting safer. Imagine having more transition to land on and uh, it just caters to progression, it caters to new tricks. I think going big is really important for women's snowboarding because I think that not very many snowboarders necessarily go big on the women's field, so I think that it definitely helps you stand out more in contests. <laughs> People want you to throw down. With snowboarding, no matter how good you are, you can never be the best. It's impossible. It's always changing, it's always progressing, and in order to stay with it, you have to change and progress with it. So I think that's why I love snowboarding, why I keep snowboarding, is because you can never master it. What makes me want to keep riding is just the feeling of progressing. Knowing that you overcame your fears and progressed is one of the best feelings possible, so I just like to keep that feeling going. I think Ariel is one of the most promising young riders we've seen in a while, and I expect to see good things from in the future. It's 
I get the inspiration from the guys who have a really good style. For me, I get inspired by just women's riding in general. Like, I just like watching women snowboarding, and I think every one of us is doing a good job at making a name for our sport. I draw my inspiration for everything in everyday life. I feel like we get a lot of our energy from the mountains, and that sounds hippie, but I just like being around and being where nobody else is. You know, we don't know what's possible to do on a snowboard. There is no ceiling for us, and I think that's what drives me. I, I definitely hold a value that nothing is impossible, and that's how I live my life, and that's how I approach my snowboard career. I don't know where I'll end up, but I, I hope that I can continue to carry the sport forward and have my, my ceiling be the next generation's floor. for life and a dangerous mind my trail of dust who knows what you'll find I can take a tree and tear it from its roots Call me the bum. Hey, oh, oh, oh. Uh, no.